Hello, bonjour, guten tag, buenos dias, dobrý den, welcome to Me Paintings, I'm Veronica Me, and I'm very happy to see you here today because I'll be showing you how to create colorful eye acrylic pour. I'll be using this round canvas which is size 20 centimeters and all these colorful colors. These are from Lucas Curl Studio, I buy them in local art shop, you'll have to search them online or different brand which pr you prefer. And I would like to show you how I mix my colors so you can do this too and create beautiful piece of art. So I'm going to show you how I mix my yellow. This one is cadmium yellow, then I, I'm using this Indian yellow, magenta, lavender, light blue, turquoise, yellowish green, and this is Viridian yellow green. So I've got my little cup here and I'm gonna put this yellow color on the bottom of my cup, like this. And as a pouring medium, I'm using this pouring medium from Lucas and this doesn't create many cells that's the reason why I'm using this pouring medium because I don't want any cells on my eye I want just nice mixture of colors so I will mix it in ratio one to one and mix it up very well like this and as you can see it's very thick so I'm going to add like one spoon of tap water into my color in pouring medium to make it more fluid. Perfect, like this. So now it's prepared for my pour. There's no silicone, just pouring medium and a little bit of water. So let's move these aside. And I'm gonna start by pouring this Verdian green onto my round canvas and spread it everywhere because I'd like to have some dark background on my eye and now I'm gonna start pouring my colors so I'm going to start with this yellowish green everywhere around And what I'm gonna do now, let's show you a bigger detail. Now I'm gonna use this wooden stick and create these lines like this. You could create a piece like this, that's completely fine, but I'm gonna use this kitchen towel and cover this with kitchen towel, like this. Push a little bit, not too much. Just so it sticks to the colors. And I'm gonna take these four corners and lift it up. that's perfect amazing this will be a perfect background for my beautiful rainbow art so I'm gonna let this dry for about a week and then I show you what to do next and when my colors are dry I can start working on the details I'm gonna start by drawing this lens in the middle and for that I'm gonna use this drawing circle tool you could also use any kind of round shape yogurt cups um, anything which is round this is good because i can choose what size i want my lens to be and this was quite expensive but look for drawing circle tool i'm sure you'll find something for a good price online so let's decide maybe a little bit bigger 
yes like this so I'm just gonna draw this circle here oops never mind it's okay like this perfect and I'm gonna fill it with black acrylic color just simple black and my brush Now it's time for some details. I'm going to use these uh, Artistro paint marker pens to create these beautiful lines in my rainbow eye. So I'm going to start with this yellow and simply I'm just going to draw these lines here and there to create an interesting pattern on my eye. Like this. And I'm also going to create some of these spaces in these lines. I hope you can see that. It's not very visible, but it's for the feel. These will be some lighter colors as well. So I'm gonna create several layers of these lines to create beautiful pattern on my eye. Now it's time to make these very thin lines with my teeny tiny brush. I'm just going to use acrylic color and create very thin lines here and there. Like this. And now time for shading. I'm gonna create a dark shade around my eye. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of this earth green with black and create this very dark green color, which will create a nice shade around here. So I'm just gonna put my color like this, top it on a tissue and then create this nice shade all around my eye like this now i'm going to paint some reflection on the top of my eye i'll use white acrylic color for that and this type of brush i put it in water and then I try to paint a nice reflection. Let's decide where it will be. And another one. Perfect, so now I wait till it gets dry and then show you the last step. 
And last thing is putting resin on the top of my eye. I already put some tape on the bottom and some pins and I'll be using this resin with Jdiction. And this box is great because it has got absolutely everything what you need for your resin art. It has got these two parts, part A and part B. And the amazing thing is that you mix it in ratio one to one. So there's no need to measure amount of resin. You just mix it in one to one mixing ratio and it has got all these things which you need this is silicone mat then these knives which are helpful also these measuring cups which is great i always need them and this is a spreading knife and also some gloves which you always have to put on when you work with resin and i will put the link to these in the description box so if you'll be interested you can check it out so let's dive straight into it so I've got this silicone mat here, my gloves are on and I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna mix 100 milliliters of resin because I'll be pouring on another ice as well, but if I had just one eye, 50 milliliters would be enough. So that means I will put part A 50 milliliters and part B also 50 milliliters. So 50-50. And for that I can use my knife and just mix it up. It takes about a minute or two till everything, these two parts are mixed properly. So my pour is completely dry and now I can pour the resin on it. That's the most satisfying part. That's enough. And I'm gonna spread it everywhere. Those colors will pop once I put my resin on the top of my eye. Beautiful. Make sure you cover the corners as well with resin. It will create a nice border. Let's pop some of these cells. And it takes about one day till this gets dry. And after that, I will put second layer of resin and show you how it looks. And this is the result of my eye acrylic pour and I love the effect which resin created on the top of my eye. So beautiful. So as you can see you can create so many interesting art pieces with this technique. Create many colorful eyes or anything which comes to your mind. And I poured several layers of resin on this and each layer has got different lines so it created this amazing effect on my eye. Beautiful. This green one is also amazing. Look at that. And I've got this colorful one and this greenish blue. This one has got different shapes on it. So you can create such beautiful pieces with this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was inspirational for you. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. You can also join my Facebook group, which is called Create With Me and show us your beautiful art. Thank you very much for watching and for your support. I can't wait to see you again. Bye.